thank you very much for joining me. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, so first of all, congratulations on the win at the weekend. Thank you. Yeah, it was a big win. It was a fun one. So obviously shorthanded, missing two key players. How was the game for you? Yeah, I think missing two key players it was big for all of us to step up and really stick to the game plan. And I think we all did a good job of like being aggressive and stepping up to the game. So yeah, it was. A, I think it was a big team win for us. And obviously, credit to Essex, they played a really good game. And that was the fourth time we played them. So that's always tough. And every game is different. And it was tough. And they kind of change how they defend. But I think we did a really good job of adjusting. I was going to ask because it was a, two weeks ago that you played Essex last time and it was the last game you played. Is that always difficult because you think teams kind of start working things out a bit more? Like what, what's it like playing the same team so soon? Yeah, it's interesting. I think it has its disadvantages and advantages. Like we can, that was the last game, so we can kind of game plan right away and we are familiar with what they did and we can kind of change what we did from that last game. But also just, yeah, playing the same team. They do a good job of kind of changing how they defend with the zone and man and pressing. So, yeah, it was a good good win for us. Yeah, it was quite close all the way through. It was quite like a close four game. What what do you think the main differences between the sides in the end were, was? Yeah, it was a good game. I feel like credit to them. They played really well and made a lot of tough shots in the beginning. And then I think the third quarter was big, just trying to get in the paint more and get into our posts and – feel like everyone did a good job being aggressive, especially after the press and everything. And it was a it was a big third quarter for us. And, and your own personal performance of 17 points, eight rebounds, six assists, two steals. How happy were you from a personal point of view? Yeah, I just try to stay aggressive and my team does a good job of kind of um, giving me confidence. And I just try to stay aggressive and do whatever, whatever the team needs that night. I mean, that's, I think that's your third game since the 5th of December. Is, is it hard to yeah. kind of get, get into a routine and a rhythm of kind of play when you're not actually playing a whole lot in that period? Yeah, we had a little bit of a break and then we had a double header and then a weekend off and then that game. But I don't know. It's good. Our practices are really intense. So that helps, I feel. So we're kind of even if we don't have games, our practices are really intense. So that's really good for us to kind of keep us keep us in that rhythm so that's good and obviously the weekend just gone was a trophy game the quarterfinal it, mm-hmm. does that give a different kind of outlook on the game is it I've not played any differently but is it viewed any differently from the players um I mean I think you gotta approach every game the same but I think it is a little more exciting when it is kind of like that tournament feel and it's in, if you lose you're out kind of thing so I think, I mean, I think we approach it the same way as we would a league game, but obviously it is a little different with that if you lose, you're out. So, yeah, I'm excited to to be we're advancing and have another game against Leicester in a few weeks. Yeah, so semi-final against Leicester Day, you dream about getting to the final, another, another final for Seven Oaks, obviously. Yeah, that's obviously the goal. We first, first got to win the first one first, obviously. We haven't played Leicester yet, so we just played Essex four times, but we haven't, we haven't played <laughs> Leicester yet, so... Uh, that would be a got to get that one first, and that'll be a good game. I've heard it's a big rival in the past with Seven Oaks, so I'm excited. And obviously, the the finals and we've just had the cup final with Newcastle and London, and um, on Sky Sports <laughs> and all that kind of. How how important is the Sky Sports deal and things like that for the league as a whole for the coverage? Yeah, I think that's. I saw a lot of like coverage of that game, and I thought that was really cool for the for the league and building it and. Yeah, it makes it more exciting for that game. So, yeah, that's really cool. And up next for Seven Oaks, it's Sheffield at the weekend, probably one of the closest rivals this season with, with London. Um, how, how, how are you approaching that game? How do you feel going into the game at the weekend? Yeah, I'm excited. I know they're like third in the league right now, so it'll be a, a really good matchup for us. And I've seen them a few times. And obviously, this is my first year, so I haven't played against them. So I'm excited and um, it should be a really, really good game, but those are fun. Those are that's what you want. So I'm excited. Well, good luck for the rest of the season. I mean, unbeaten in the league. Let, how long can you keep that going for? I hope as long as as long as we can. That's that's the plan always. But take it one game at a time. <laughs> well, good luck. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, hopefully see you soon. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you for having me.